Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to use website live chat channel with Odoo 16. This video help you to use website live chat channel with Odoo 16 platform. Odoo 16 live chat channel module is a real time platform that interacts with client for business purpose through effective communication. The live chat dashboard ensures you to generate a new website live chat channel for your personal or business purpose inside the channels tab. When creating a new live chat channel, you can set the message, operators and channel rule. Let's go to the website module before creating new live chat channel. Click on the settings menu inside the configuration tab and look at the live chat option below the featuring heading, I mean features heading. Here you can see under email and marketing, we have a field called live chat, which allow your visitor to chat with your with you. And the channel is set here. You can get into the internal link. So you can see the channel name and it has different tabs like operators, options, channel rules, widget and all. Now let's see how to generate a new website channel. So for that, choose the live chat. Odo live chat dashboard displays a list of created channels and users can develop a new channel from here. For that, click on new button in order to create new channel here. You can give the channel name. So we have given the name of the channel. We have a tab called operators. Here we can add multiple operators. So let's click on new and let me add the operators. Select the users to add as the operators. So currently we have added the operators and operators that do not show any activity in Odoo for more than 30 minutes will be considered as disconnected. We have another option that is uh, a tab called options. And you can see live chat button here, which let you to give a text in this button. And you can also customize the live chat button color. So let me change the color. You can also customize live chat window with the welcome message and chat input blazer, which allow you to uh, prompt the user to initiate the chat. And we can also set a channel header color. So let me change the color. The rules for live support channels are defined through channel rules. You can apply URL as per country and geo IP should be installed in the server to identify your country. The countries did not take it into account with installing without installing the server. So click on add a line in order to add uh, the rules. So here we can add a live chat button. So let me set the live chat button as open automatically. And here you can choose welcome board as a chat board. So you can enable uh, if you set this field as enable, then you can uh, only use the chat board if there is no operator. Now let me sec set the uh, Seconds to open. Let it be one and you can also set the country. Now let me save the rule. After saving rule under widgets, you can see the links that have created. Yeah, the links uh, that have generated. Now let's see how to use the website live chat widgets. So just copy paste the URL and search. Uh, use this and search. So before that, let me go to the website and let me publish this. So here you can see uh, the team 
that is the operators so they are not yet rated now let's back to the live chat itself we can see we have enabled one boat so with all the messages and all now let me yeah let's choose a, a search engine and search for the chat now here you can see the created channel we have applied uh, the url of the channel now let's chat so the user is not satisfied or is not interest interested to continue the chat so we can set a customer rating so here we have different rating like satisfied okay not satisfied now if the customer is not satisfied here you can give your note explain your note <laughs> And here you can also set the mail. So click on the mail so that uh, a mail will be sent to this mail ID. Now let's back. Here you can see the conversation. So due to some network issues, the images are not loaded. And you can see the rating over here. Now when you now when you go to the live chat session under the chat, you can see Michelle Edwin has left the chat and he has given uh, the rating for this chat. So the user is not satisfied with this chat. So you can close that. And you can choose the channel. And under the sessions, we can see the number of sessions that has happened. And we can see the number of records like uh, the message and the uh, uh, Michelle Edmin has left the conversation with uh, the Odoo boat and can see uh, the rating. So in this session, we can see the message number of records as well as the rating. Now let's back to tour uh, and under the satisfaction smart tab, I mean uh, the customer rating smart tab, you can see uh, the rating of the user. So whenever a customer uh, places a uh, the customer rating all the customer rating will be placed in this window now this customer rating has different uh, views like kanban view list view uh, graph view which shows uh, different measures like rate uh, rating value count and if you want to set this into spreadsheet, you can insert this. Uh, the user can also use uh, different sorting functionalities like filters, which can be custom filters and default filters, group by, uh, and can also set uh, the search into current. I mean, save current uh, favorite search. Now, under visitors, we can see all the visitors. So these are the visitors for last seven days. When you close the filter, you can see all the visitors here. So we can see uh, the action that has made. So Michelle admin were active uh, four minutes ago and he has visited the 
channel for one time and uh, he has visited the last page i mean uh, you can see uh, two he has totally visited two page but he haven't converted into lead or opportunity and he has made two chats now if you want to uh, make any email we can set that so here we can set uh, the followers of the document so let me choose abigail peterson now let me send the contact visitor and let's click on chat so if you want to uh, use emojis and all you can set that so let me close this and if you want to send a message you can also send message to the contact number okay now let's go to the reporting so under reporting we have session history which shows all the session histories that is the date and login time with the attendees and uh, the number of records as well as their rating so here we can also download the history of a report and we have session statistics which shows uh, the statistics of each of the channel that is uh, the different measures like uh, speakers average durations average message that received for a channel days of activity uh, is the visitor is anonymous visitor or uh, existing visitor rating session not rated and uh, sessions that are not answered time to answer and uh, is visitor is happy or not and we can also insert this into uh, i mean a uh, spreadsheet and we have different views like bar chart pie chart then uh, yeah line chart pie chart and stat cumulative descending and ascending and we can also get the pivot view of uh, the statistics now let's go to the operator analysis so under operator analysis we have different measures like average duration time to answer and we can set the count this can be also inserted into the spreadsheet with different views are available now under uh, the report we can also get the reports of customer rating so here we can see all the customer rating which has different views like kanban which is a default view list view which shows the rating as uh, the customer is satisfied uh, or okay or dissatisfied and we get the pivot view and graphical representation now when you go to the channel when you go to the uh, website here you can also view the yeah feedback in the channel So here you can see the feedback of the user Michelle Admin. So he has said, uh, I mean, he is not satisfied with the service of the channel. So here we can see that last feedback and its percentage and all. Now let's discuss about canned responses. Canned responses are nothing but they are used when. Uh, yeah in order to uh, make simpler of the conversations so we can use shortcuts so let me set a canned message nice and we have a uh, chatbot so under chatbots we have two chatbots which is lead generation chatbots which is used to generate leads and we have welcome chatbot so here we can set uh, the welcome message and the answers and all so as you click on test here you can see uh, you can set uh, the chat like uh, we will get the question and the answer can be chosen from this options so you can choose the option 
so the board will ask or raise the next uh, chat yeah as like this chat goes on now let's discuss about the canned responses you can use canned responses to make your conversation smarter so you can use short code um, in order to substitute lengthy sentences so let me uh, click on new in order to generate a new canned response so here you can give the short code and uh, in order to substitute the short code you can give the text that you want so we have just created a canned response so now let's see how to use that so for that you can get into the discuss module and you can make a direct message so currently we don't have any users so let's add some users by clicking on the plus icon this would allow you to add users so we have different users like Michelle admin, um, Mark Demo, and you can only get the users that you have created. Yeah, now we have different users. So let me choose the user. Here we have different users. So in order, uh, we can see that uh, as uh, this is logged as Michelle Admin, you will get the user as Michelle Admin. Now, uh, if you want to get the canned response, just click on call and so that you will get the canned responses. So yeah, here you can see the canned responses. So let me say hello. So you can choose the canned responses and send this. So this is how we generate canned responses in order to um, make your conversation smarter. So that's all about uh, live chat. Hope this concept is clear for you. So thank you for watching the video.